Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to continue this exercise. So yesterday we modeled this. We modeled this um, curtain panel pattern based family. So which you can use in a mass, and then you can select each of them, and then change the angle. So for example, change it to zero, and like um, close it in ninety. So you can go win it. So today we're going to have a play um, with the dynamo to control all these panels all together. Okay, so first on the manage dynamo. Okay, so let me move this to the side. Okay, so new and first. I need to use the Revit element select oh, actually I can use right click and search I'm, I'm, I'm doing it that way it's easier so right click search family types so it's there family types okay so I need to pick the name so apparently it's family 4 so if you go to the Revit file so you can select it one single panel and the, that's the name okay so and also change that to menu so you don't want it to run automatically so and then the next step is select all these family types this family okay so right click family types okay so that's all elements of family types and link them run and now you will have a list so 1254 let's check go back to Revit file oh, actually I just forgot to mention so to be able to use Dynamo, it need you need to be um, in conceptual uh, mass, not model in place mass. Okay, so select one of them, select one of them, and then SA select all. Just double check the number filter. So that's twelve fifty four, which is correct. Yeah, and now the next steps is right click search set parameter set parameter so yep we don't need the space file name and then link link this element to element and then we need a parameter name so if I check this that's a a because a is a text so we need so double click here double click and uh, we need to do it like this. We're not sure how to pronounce this one, but uh, yeah. So that's A. So that's a name. So if it's a number, you don't need that thing. But yeah, connect this to probably the name. Now we need a value. So for the value, value we need a, a create a list. So double click. So here I'm. I want to create a list from 1 to or, uh, 1 to 90 degrees also maybe 0 okay 0 to 90 so uh, and the uh, 1 so if you look at here and this will create a if I run this will create a maybe to 90 yeah, that's fine. Just, just do it like this. So this will create a list contains all these number, and because we need that much, that many number, so we right click, cycle C Y C L E, and then connect this in the amount amount. So uh, double click, so ninety. About 12, 13, 14, maybe 14. 
connect there we go. 12 yeah just enough for that so that's enough and then if I connect this one to the value and then run so this will take probably half a minute so run yeah uh, after I've, after we finish I will upload this family as well as this um, dynamo file onto the onto my Google Drive so you can download and have a look okay so yep wait just wait yeah my computer is a little bit old so slow Yep, almost there. Okay, so that's some kind of pattern, but uh, it's not really. Yeah, I'm not sure, but you can't really control it. Okay, so now let's try. Um, let's try some some ran random pattern. Uh, all right, so. What you need to do, I'll link this, the value, and then right click, shuffle, and link that. So without link this, if I run, so just let's let's have a look of this list. So you can see it's all random number now. But before this step, if I check here, so it's from zero to. 90 and then go back to zero so some kind of pattern here but uh, this is totally um, random so if I link this to the value and uh, wait another 30 seconds yeah you should have some random pattern in this mass so this is a very uh, like generic or very common procedure to get some random parameter in your family so in a family not, not only the mass if you have some um, family normal family with instance parameter in your project you can use this method just to get all the set up select all the family set parameter by name so so see so this is the result so if I let me okay so so you don't need to do it individually yeah and if you still you can still as long as it's on menu. It's on menu. You can still just go into your uh, go into your project. If I, for example, if I just uh, I want to have some uh, maybe I have some window behind it. I want to open them up. Just typing something like that. You can do it manually to adjust it, but. Uh, yeah, that's that's it for today. Um, tomorrow we will have another video. Let's do a little bit more experiment of using Dynamo to see if we can achieve something different. Okay, so that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.